Hey everyone, Miranda Patron here with you to do another video. Just enjoying going through some of my older videos and photography. And I think it's so awesome how we can really be inspired by nature. Some bright colors on this double rainbow here at my family's area home up in Vermont. I just am inspired by that. So anytime I'm inspired by colors, I'd go and try to find them. And I put them on my Pinterest here because that's where they can all be in one place. Miranda Patron Art, and I'll go to the board that is Color Palettes, yay! <laughs> and today I'm kind of looking for something that's blue, purple, green, with a little dash of yellow in it. Just for a little bit of inspiration when I need it, if I can't come up with some kind of color combo that I'm feeling for the day. So here's the one we're going to use for today. So this stone's from Lake Erie. I did paint it matte black and I did a three inch circle with my center marked. And I just find these stones when I'm beach combing. This one's oval shaped and I'll be using brushes to paint today. Mostly the angle spot detailer like you see here, which is a size 10 zero. It's made by Princeton. And we're just going with a little bit of true blue paint here for our circle in the center. And I'm just painting a circle for my center. So you can do this with your dotting tools too. That's about, I don't know, about a quarter of an inch diameter. And this one's going to be kind of quad mandala. So we're only going to do four dots of our white, kind of in each of the corners to make this kind of fit the length of the oval shaped stone. So here I'm using a lovely lovely color that has a little bit of green in it, a little bit of blue, it's called Sea Breeze. And we're just doing four in between those. And here I'm just using a liner brush, very small liner brush. And I'm using the same color just to do a ring of dots around each of our four that we put down here. Getting a good vantage point, which I recommend getting a turntable is a great way to help keep your symmetry. I need it right in front of me, the part that I'm working on each time, just to kind of help my eyesight <laughs> um, and just to kind of navigate that I'm doing a symmetrical work here. It just helps for the mandalas. And so this would be a smaller dotting tool, probably your smallest in your pack of styluses. Alright, here we have some delicious Kelly Green. And I'm making the dots a little bit bigger, they're about 3 millimeters. So probably if you have the dotting stylus set, it would be the largest one. I'm going to go back over here with a little bit more white. And just paint them about the same size. And this is a nice battleship gray just to kind of offset it a little bit here. Okay, we'll do a few, four more of these larger circles here with crisp blue. And this way we have a little space around each of the crisp blues. We're going to go with white first, but we're going to dot around each of these with rings of dots.
Okay, and the next color I have, I can't really tell from the video, but it is shoreline, like light blue. We'll do one ring around each of the, these with the shoreline. It's fun just taking your time walking around the dots. So here I have some bright green going around each of these. Just continuing around each of the four dots. And as always, if you want bigger dots at the top, you just push down a little harder and then lighter as you come around each of these. Okay, so this color is baby blue. It's in the Americana line as well. We're just building up each of these four elements on the outer edges. I think we'll do kind of a blue ombre. And then on the fourth. So we're working to a little bit darker blue here. And this one is the tur well, no, this one isn't the turquoise blue. I almost said turquoise blue. It is the bluebird. Basically, I'm just going from light to dark for the ombre blues on these. And so I'm doing a little bit larger dots at the top, and it'll start to get kind of this petal effect. So it's sort of an elongated element rather than round, around, around. Okay, and this is Williamsburg blue. So you can see the difference in this one. It's got a little bit of gray in it. Alright, so I'm continuing to pull out the sea breeze from our center here. A little bit of a different shape with the pointed kind of top of a triangle here. And then I put some hunter green on as well. I'm just going to tuck a couple dots here of the cadmium yellow. Then we're going to go with some purple pizzazz for the larger dots towards the outer edge here. It's interesting, you know, the development of the shape now 
for this mandala because it's just a quad mandala. But it really, really fits the shape of the oval stones better, in my opinion. Okay, so I went a little bit lighter here to go around the purple pizzazz. This one is the purple sunset. And we're just doing a ring here around each of these. Okay, and going lighter still. This one looks a little different on my screen, but it is wild orchid mixed with the purple pizzazz a little bit, so it's just a little bit lighter. I'll toss a couple in the middle here. Okay, so now we're going to start doing some swipes. This is buttermilk. So it's kind of a warm white. And I'm just using the angle spot detailer and I'm pushing down hard at the beginning and then letting up at the end to make the tail. And you can do these with your dotting tools as well just have to practice seeing how far the paint gets dragged out with each tool. But you'll be able to get the hang of it, I promise. You guys got this. This one's a little easier the second row is because you're just following along the first swipe that you did. And the white with the white. And then I'm just going to dot down the other side using that same white. And then we'll go back to that cadmium yellow here and just do a swipe down either side. I didn't have quite enough paint on that, so I went back to dip it again. And we'll put a couple more white, larger white dots around the edges here where we have our purple element. And then some around the purple on each side here. I'll go back and grab some more of that purple mixture, the wild orchid, and the purple pizzazz. Actually, I think I grabbed the purple pizzazz. Because <laughs> it looks more like our big dot, which is fine. 
you can see the alternating light and dark does a different design for your mandala as well. Alrighty, so, so just a reminder, I have my website up and going, mirandapatronart.com. This is what the homepage looks like, but I also have the videos here, color palette ideas, you can get to the Instagram posts and Facebook, etc. from here. Um, also, feel free to contact me on here. I, it goes right to my email. Here is my shop. Please feel free to pass it along. I'm trying to get off of Etsy because I'm tired of all the fees and just the constant changing of how they do things and I want to just run my business myself. So here I am. Yes, I have tools. I have things I use from the videos and also my art on here. So it's all one stop, the website and the shop. And I uh, hope you guys will help me get the word out. All right, I hope you are all doing awesome. I love to hear from you all in any ways possible. But uh, help me keep these going by just posting something in the comments below for me. Take care. Have a great night.